Did you know that you can convert your video files for free without using any expensive paid programs or other free video file converters that bombard you with annoying adverts? Hey everyone, I have another quick video for you on how to convert video files to any format, such as MKV, MP4, RV, and many more using VLC Media Player. VLC Player can convert your video files to a wide range of formats without adding any watermarks to your videos, unlike many other video converters. So, let's dive into the tutorial and I show you how it's done. First, we must download the VLC Media Player from their official website. If you already have VLC installed on your computer, feel free to skip this part of the video using the timestamp provided. I'll include the website link in the video description. Once you land on the website, click the downward arrow next to the download button to see the list of operating systems compatible with the VLC media player. If your operating system is not listed, click on other systems to see all the operating systems that VLC media player can be installed on, as you can see them here. Since I'm using a Windows computer for this video, I'll select Windows 64-bit to initiate the download of the setup installer. Once you download the setup, open the download folder and double-click on the setup to begin the installation process. Once you've finished installing the VLC Media Player, launch the application. But first of all, I have a video file on my desktop that lags when played, likely due to being recorded on an iPhone. So I right-clicked on the video file and went to its properties. I found that the file type is MOV. So to resolve the lagging issue, I have to convert the video file to MP4, which can be played on any device. Let's start by launching the VLC Media Player from the desktop. You can keep these boxes checked if you prefer, but for this video I'll uncheck them and then click Continue. Now we're ready to convert the video file. First, navigate to the Media tab and click on it to reveal a drop-down menu. From there, select Convert to open another dialog box. From here, click the Add button to open up a window where you will locate the video you want to convert. So, I will go ahead and choose the video file from my desktop, and then click Open. Now you can see the actual file is added to the section. So once the video file is added, you can choose to add subtitle files to the video if you check this box. And there are more options here if you wish to add them. Now proceed and click Convert, and save to open another dialog box. Now it's time to select the video format to which you want to convert the file. So go ahead and click the downward arrow to see the available video formats. There are plenty of options to choose from, and you can scroll down to select the one that suits you. For me, I'm just going to go with H.264 plus MP3. So once you're done with that, you have to set the location where you want to store your file. In my case, I'm going to create a folder on my desktop and name it Convert Files. Then, I'll click open to select the folder as the destination to put the converted video file and finally click save. After that, I'll click start and you'll see it quickly converting the video file, which will also reduce the file size. Once the converting is finished, if I check the properties of the converted video file, you will see the file type is now MP4. Additionally, if you compare the sizes of the original and converted video files, you will observe the differences. Now I can play this video smoothly on any device. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a like so that the YouTube algorithm can push this tutorial to more people. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever we release a new video. We really appreciate your support, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.